Good day, everybody. My name's Tom Veroni. I want to welcome you to Universal Technical Institute at the Avondale campus in Arizona. We're in the Ford FACT program, and I want to introduce to you some of the new technology that we're using and training here. We're very excited about it. I want to tell you that Ford Motor Company is really on top of their delivery for training. Uh, they really trust UTI, so we're having a lot of fun with this new technology. The technology I'm going to expose to you today is called virtual reality. Not new to you, I'm sure, but new to training. So pretty exciting stuff. Virtual reality is an area of pure digital and virtual with no real world tossed in there. So we can use it in training to create an exercise that's very active, um, take special steps and all those kinds of things, and so the technicians love it. We've just gotten started with this technology, but I've yet to have a student go, gee, I'm really not too excited about the virtual reality thing. They're usually waiting in line and pretty excited about jumping in with it. We have two training courses at this point that are on virtual. One is the brake lathe. It's an on-car lathe that you hook up to the vehicle while it's on a lift. And there's also um, EV battery service. Uh, so we're doing that in one of our electronics courses. Uh, and so that's pretty exciting as well. Virtual reality gives us a lot of benefit. Let me kind of explain that to you. The brake lathe that Neil is going to be working with has a lot of uh, information. It's very involved, takes a skill set. So when you're first exposed to it in the lab, a little bit of a challenge. But now we have it in this virtual training course, which looks just like a shop, just like a dealership. The student feels like he's in the dealership. They have to connect the lathe to the car. They have to follow all the steps. And it's a safe zone. The student doesn't have to worry about hurting the car, doing something inappropriate or um, out of line for Ford's specifications and directions. They're kind of animated and uh, guided through it. So it's safe and fun to learn in that environment. After Neil's exposed to this kind of training, when we put him in the real world on the car with the lathe, confidence level is up because he's already done it virtually. He's more likely to remember the steps, so win-win. We love virtual training because it engages all the senses. He's using visual, psychomotor skill. He has to move the wands and manipulate the training. He's also using hearing to listen for commands and those kind of things. So, like I said, uh, we really are excited about this new style of technology. All right, Neil, I'm going to look over your shoulder while you're doing this, so thank you for that. But Neil has to identify the car and get it up on the lift. Once he gets it up on the lift safely, he's going to remove a tire. He manipulates his way around the car and around the lift, uh, virtually very interesting. Once the tire is off the car and he gets that down, he'll be working on uh, rolling the lathe over, hooking it up, following procedure. The lathe will have all the adjustments, all the levers, and all those things virtually that he would have in the workshop. You'll see he's going to do some measuring. He'll have the wrench and attach an adapter to the hub and those types of things. So kind of fun and interesting. But we thought we'd just give you a short, quick glimpse of what a virtual reality learning course would look like. I foresee in the future virtual reality helping us to train in many, many other avenues outside of this virtual brake lathe. You can see virtual reality very useful at this point. And the question comes up, what's next? And I want to tell you that there's augmented reality, and I see it going that way. We don't know what the future holds, right? But we have seen experiments taking place where we can marry reality and virtual reality, call it augmented, reality or even a mixed reality, that opens up a lot of different opportunities. It would probably be a different style headset or a goggle, but the technician will be able to go to the car and possibly look at repair instructions inside the goggle as he's looking at real world engine. So for a torque sequence where he's looking at the service manual and then torquing the engine together, probably going to help eliminate some mistakes. On a real tough diagnosis, 
He can be connected to the hotline or the technician help service and say, I'm having a challenge here. Look at my wiring diagram. Here's what I'm seeing on the car. Help me reduce this problem to solve. And we've got an expert on the line to say, I see the problem, the green and yellow wire turned around or whatever that might be. So that would bring huge benefit as well. Not only, but the technician should be able to see that wiring diagram as he's interjecting with the circuit, that brings a lot of value. So this is going to be a technology I'm sure will grow and grow. If it will, I'm sure the Ford Motor Company will continue to put those types of technology in this program. We will expose it to these young technicians and they'll be able to see more and more how they can get work done more efficiently. We also see that this will help with different levels of technician. Let me show you an example if I could. Um, I'm a new technician. I'm working on a turbocharger system. I'm not real familiar with how to identify where. So I'm armed with a camera in this um, augmented reality. So as I look at the turbo and I've got it apart, I can have an expert on the other end look at it and say, that's excessive oil on the compressor side. That turbocharger definitely needs to be changed where I might look at it not have the depth to say, yes, definitely this is a failure. So we are going to use technology in the workshops more and more to engage those types of jobs. You need to be exposed to it in this learning environment. So when you get to the dealership, you're not necessarily a master of that technology, but you certainly have been exposed to it. I sure appreciate you joining us here in the Ford Fact Lab today. I look forward to seeing you in the future.